Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome to Farming Simulator 19. We've got a little treat for you today. And sorry I'm a little bit late. I had to, at the very last second, just edit the money you can see up in the top right-hand corner there. It was still on 100,000 and I forgot to edit it before I started. So here we go. Right. Um, the map that we have is Fenton Forest. This is a map that has been edited by Stevie. Stevie is an absolutely wonderful modder and map creator. He has created lots and lots of maps. This one is still in beta testing. The actual map will be ready in the next week or two, he said. He wanted me to stress that this is a test map. There are bugs in this map, but they have mostly been ironed out at the moment. The testers are still testing furiously. So by the time this map goes live, all of the little bugs that we may encounter will have been cured. Now, this map is actually just an edit. So all it is is an edit of a familiar map. Some of you may recognize the basic map that we've got right here. If you, if you have a look up there, we've got Port Northwest. Uh, the BGA there, that's not been moved. Fenton Dairy is new. Railroad Silo. Uh, basically, he's taken the uh, Felsbrunn map and he's edited it. The castle is no more. The castle has been removed. It is gone completely. So, this is what we're going to be playing around with tonight. We're just going to have a look around the map. We're going to see what it has to offer, etc, etc. Before we get into that, just want to say hello to Ryan G, uh, new P9, Golden Eagle. Hello, Twin Cam Gaming. How are you doing? Alexander Hodson, uh, Agra Beatry Shorb. I have no idea how to say that. Um... Udo Major and Jimmy J, many of you may already know, they are the mods. Uh, we also have uh, Miss Mucky Pup modding for us this evening as well. Good Michael Snyder's John Harnett, uh, Mac O.D., Pikas, uh, Hayden Bruning, Travis Dudley, Team Craft TV, Pierre Araby, Michael B., Hello and welcome to all of you. I have a huge announcement to be making as well. Before we get into that, let's just quickly take a look at the first machinery that we have for when you get into this map. Right, the machinery is right. You start off with $100,000, you don't start off with $10 million. I've just edited that in for tonight's stream. That's why I was a little bit late just getting in here. Um, sorry, I was just looking at the, the, the chat there a second. Uh, we've got a Valtra over here. Nice green voucher, actually. This one's looking pretty good. Uh, we had that New Holland back there. Then we've got a JCB Fast Track. And you can see we have got a large selection of machinery ready to go on the map. And if you have a look here, we start off owning field one right there, which is a fair size field, and field two. So it's all in one big, massive parcel of land right here. Uh, value at half a million. And then you've got... That bit there, which is basically all of the forestry area of the land, it, it, all, all that forestry area, all the way up through there, including, oh, not including, the, that's separate. You got to, you do have to buy that, the wood chips and the sawmill and that. You've got to buy that, that's 40,000. But if you want to buy the forestry area, you buy all of it, and you buy everything all the way out around the edges of the map. Um, other little forestry areas as well. This forestry area in here, you could buy the whole lot, and it's three million dollars if you want to buy that bit and then you've got some big fields over here 600 that's 400 350 580 1.2 million it should be noted that this is on the easy mode and i've got it on easy economic difficulty as well i don't know if that affects the prices or not uh it may it may not um but yeah, so we've got this Fent 939 right here. We've got the New Holland CR 1090 out in the field, ready to go with our first um, crop. And I'm actually going to put this one going right now. I'm just, I'm just going to open that one up a bit. And I'm going to put that one up there. And then we're going to go like this. And you're away. Are you, are you leaving straw behind? You are? You're leaving straw behind. We'll let that one go for a minute. That one can just tick up across the field. He'll, he'll, he'll do just fine. He'll, he'll be fine. And we've got a 6250 here with a front loader as well. And you can see over there, there's a whole load of machinery lined up, ready to go. You've got everything you need to run a large-scale operation here already. We've got the John Deere over here, the 8400R. 
That one is looking pretty schnazzy with these double wheels. I've not really, I've never actually used this tractor, I don't think. I may have used it a little bit. Perslong. Ooh, a new P9. Five dollars. Just a little bit to start off the live stream. Thank you very, very much, sir. That is hugely appreciated. It really is. Thank you. That is awesome. It's a new P9. Thank you. That is absolutely amazing. Right. Just bring this bad boy on over here, and I'm going to park him up there. I'm not going to do anything more with him, because we still want to have a look at the rest of the stuff. We've got the Fent 1050 out here in the field with a big old trailer on board ready to go. Um, I'll go and catch up with that combine in a little bit. And we've got the Crone Big M450 in here. That one's ready and waiting to go. We've also got a small New Holland over there. Um, I honestly... Wait a minute, where's that one? Oh, no, 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 no. Is this... Got to be dead. Yeah, it's down here. It's in his shed. Um, i got to be honest. I'm surprised that this one's included. I am genuinely surprised that it's included. But if you have a look, we've also got a whole load of other stuff over here as well. We've got... Um, I think that muck spread is actually full. It's full and ready to go. Plus, we've got some other stuff. You can hear some water here. I think that's one of the errors on the map at the moment. Um, because if you have a look, let me bring up this one here. Uh, if you have a look at the mini map in the Felsbrunn map, this is actually where we're standing right now. You've got the water that goes all the way through. And in the original Felsbrunn map, all of this is water. All of, all of this around here is water in the original Felsbrunn map. So it's very likely that that is an unintended bug, being able to hear the water all the way over here. That's my guess anyway. Um, and not you don't hear it all over the farm. I know that much, but there are some places where you walk around that you do hear it. So there's a little audio bug right there. Um, I think that's it actually for all of the machinery. We go to the, the New Holland here, and then yeah, then we're back to this New Holland over here, which is um like a little bobcat type machine. This one is actually quite like this one not really used it very much so that's what you start off with there then you also to get things going just just so that you've got a taste of everything around you got nine black pigs in an enclosure they've got no food at the moment though nothing at all and you've got a large it's a large pig enclosure that you start with as well as a large sheep pasture you've got nine white sheep and one black sheep in there you've got a chicken coop over here that's got two white sheep, uh, two white sheep, two white chickens, two brown chickens, a rooster, and two black chickens there. Then we've got a cow, large cow pasture, uh, ten cows in that one ready to go, and a large horse paddock with four horses sitting pretty right there, ready to start. So you've literally got everything you need for kickstarting a fairly large scale operation in here. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go into there, and I wanted to go to decorations, and I wanted to show you the farm a little bit. I just wanted to sort of scoot around so you can get an aerial view of the farm while we look. And I'm just going to sort of go around it slowly. So, big announcement. A lot of you have been asking for a long time now for me to have a Discord channel. A Discord channel is coming for Frithgar. It is on its way. Jimmy J, our absolutely wonderful moderator, sat right there just quietly welcoming people to the stream and generally being his awesome usual self, has gone and made a um, server for us. It's still under construction, it's still being sorted out. Smoodalini, or Udo Major, right there, who's also one of the moderators, he has, he has come on as one of the administrators for the Discord channel, and he has been putting in a huge amount of time right alongside Jimmy. Um, they've been busy setting things up, they've been busy programming a bot, they've been doing things that I understand absolutely nothing about. I genuinely... The, I, I, I listened in on what they were talking about last night for setting up this bot. I was completely lost. I got no clue what they were talking about. But it sounded very impressive. It sounded complicated and impressive. And I was just generally impressed. And I'm very impressed with all the work they put in. They tell me. So they, they are basically the ones running the show. Right? It will be those two running the show. They are the top senior dogs. They, are to be, they will be listened to. 
but it's not it's not ready yet. They're still getting things set up, and they've told me that we need some moderators on there. Now, moderating will not you you won't be required to be online at any set times or anything like that. It's not going to have like um, you, you're not going to have to be there at you know all the time or set times and so on. It's to help out when you are available, that kind of thing. But um, the what I would like tonight is anybody who is interested in volunteering to assist with moderating. All it is is the same as moderating on here. Uh, just generally have a presence there and help to keep the chat clean. Um, if you're interested, if you're interested in getting involved, then send me a message either on Facebook through the messenger on there or email me. There is an email address in the description of the channel. Um... And, yeah, that's about the easiest way for you to try to get hold of me, I think, is either email or through there. Or you can go to my website, and there is a contact form on there that will get sent automatically to my email address anyway. So if you're interested in becoming a moderator and helping out with this new Discord channel that Smudo and Jimmy J are busy building, then by all means... Send me some contact information and I will consider you. One stipulation is that you must be over 18. Over 18s only. And we would prefer people who have been around... Well, I would prefer people who have been around for a while. I would be giving people who have been around and have made it into the Great Book of Names. I would be giving those a priority purely because we've got... Um, you know, I know you a bit better. You, you've been around for a while. But... I will go through and we will decide suitability on each and every person that decides to apply. But at the moment, that's what it is. And I will keep you posted on the Discord server. So, credit where it is due. Jimmy J and Udo Major have done an absolutely magnificent job. And they continue to do an absolutely magnificent job. It is amazing. <laughs> New V9, have some more money. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is absolutely awesome. That is brilliant, sir. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Right. Uh, so we have... Uh, yeah, sorry, Mac OD. You do indeed have to be over 18 to be a moderator. You won't have to be over 18 to enjoy using the Discord channel once it goes live. I will let everybody know. As soon as it's ready to be used, I will let everybody know. Frithgar, do you plan on doing a face reveal? Oh, I do plan on doing a face reveal. There will be a face reveal once I reach 100,000 subscribers. And we're getting ever closer. We are getting ever closer to that epic day when I reach 100,000 subscribers. And it, I tell you what, the closer I get, the, I, I just can't believe it some days. I, literally, I, I, I cannot believe it some days that I've actually gotten this far. What is the top speed of this? That is 74 miles an hour. That is 74. And these are a little bit slower. I think we're going to go for a drive in the Lizard pickup. We're going to get that one there. And we're going to go for that one. Hardy. And we're going to go for a bit of blue like that. I like that. That's pretty good. Right. Bye. Yes. Okay. Come out of there, like that, and if I hop out of that one there... Um, right. Hey Frith, did many people recommend this map? I love Stevie's work. Oh, somebody said, um, when is... Uh, is this map coming out for PC only? At the moment, as far as I know, it's PC only. I don't think he's planning to release it through Giants for consoles. I don't really know. Uh, this is familiar. If you watch the, live, the, the time lapses, then this bit here hasn't changed. Uh, that bit there has changed. That's a mountain. And uh, that's definitely a bit different than it was. Senleia's Restaurant. <gasps> we need to go and see. We need to go and see if Senleia's Restaurant is still there. Do you have merch? I kind of have merch. I kind of have merchandise. If you look in... The, I think there may be it links in the description here on the live stream. If there isn't, there are any of the Farming Simulator videos... There are two links to Amazon. The t-shirts are available only in the UK, and the hoodies are available only in the US. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get anything different at the moment. We are working on getting something else. Um, that's something that me and Senleia need to get in place. But there is Sen's restaurant. 
That one is still here. That one is still in the game. I'm pleased to see. It looks different. It does. Is he changing? I think he's changed the color of the tables outside. That is some serious attention to detail. But anyway, Sen's restaurant is still here. The castle has gone. Let's drive through the castle. We're going to do this. I hope you're not expecting strong realism tonight because the, the, you may not be getting much. Um, this is the castle. This is the Felsbrunn Castle. Is Sen a good cook in real life? I'll tell you what, she is the best. Um, the thing is, though, she makes the stuff that I like. She makes stuff that I like, a lot of stuff that I like. And some of it is what she makes. She makes stuff for her, which has like, got loads of onions and peppers and all kinds of things in it like that. I really don't like that. I really don't. But then she makes the stuff that I like, and that's what I post pictures of on my Instagram. So she makes me stews and um, tasty things like that. I like stew a lot. I eat a lot of stew. And... So she, she does make me things like that. This is the farm in Felsbrunn. So you've got a you've got a barn there. You start off with a barn that um, that stays there. They got rid of the little bit of forestry at the end of this field up here. That's now gone. Field eleven has changed. Wait a minute. Oh, I've got autosave on. That's why. Right. I might leave autosave just in case, because um because it's so heavily modded and it, it's a test map just in case there's any crashes so that's mostly where the time lapse takes place in there so this one this field has gone all the way around there he's basically done what i was thinking of eventually doing in the time lapse has turned that into one great big boot shaped field so we, we'll ignore that bit for a minute what is this over here that he's got um and yes, this map, I don't believe he's planning to release this one through Giants, through the Mod Hub. So it would be PC only. It should be coming out in the next couple of weeks. I'm not exactly sure when it will come out, but it should be in the next couple of weeks. We've got uh, manure up there. There's a track going up this way. That goes on to a road. We, we, we want to have a look around this forestry area and see what he's done up here. Um... Well, I know what was up there. You had a road that went up this way, didn't you? So let's go for a wander up that road first and see what's up there. Um, when is the next Super Hardcore? Super Hardcore series, you have an episode every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So it's three days a week, that one is. So you get this, uh, you still got tomorrow's episode. And then the next one, New Pete. <laughs> you love my laugh. Well, there you go. That's small laughter. Seriously. Another lot. Another $5. Thank you very much, sir. This is absolutely incredible. It's genuinely amazing. You are a legend. Hang on. The road's gone. The ro Seriously. Okay. Uh, now what? I don't know. Oh, that's... We've got a heating plant right here. We have a heating plant. This is like the one... Account terminated. I remember you. You've commented on some of my videos. I have seen you commenting on my videos. And I looked at it the first time I did a double take. Very clever. Very clever. Account terminated. I did definitely do a double take on that one. Well, how's he commenting if his account is terminated? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, no, no! Don't be upside down. I love the mechanics in this game. It's so cool. Okay. Little word of warning. You need to... Be careful coming out of that little entrance way right there when you have this map. Uh, we'll go whizzing on up here. I will be trying to do maps on... I am sort of... Uh, I'm getting a strong impression from a lot of comments and feedback on videos and stuff that um, a lot of people like the idea of me using the live streams to spend a couple hours looking around new maps. So... I will probably be doing that. I've said to Stevie, because I spoke to Stevie before I started this stream. I spoke to him earlier today, actually, and said to him that, you know, I'd like, I'd be interested in doing a live stream. Um, and then, but I wasn't going to do it unless I had his permission. And he said, yep, yeah, that's fine. By all means, just make sure everybody knows that this is the test map. There are some bugs on here, some issues with it here and there. And uh, we want to... I, he just wanted me to make sure everybody knows. Uh, so what I will probably do is when the full release comes out, I will do another stream on the full release map. And we can have another look at it then. So even if it is just like immediately in our next stream, 
So we'll just do another stream on the updated map and we'll have a look around and we'll try a different task or two on it. The moment we got that great big field that's being combined, a load of tracks all the way up through here. This is actually pretty cool. And some little cross tracks as well. We're going to have to try and jump off the top here somewhere. And yes, I noticed that, Michael Snyders. He's got hot pink icons everywhere, which I think is absolutely awesome. Um, green has always been my favorite color. I was originally born on a farm. And then when I was younger, we moved to a town for a while. And then I moved to New Guinea, and I lived in the middle of a jungle for a while. And then I had to spend a bit more time in a town and so on and I've always liked green because it reminded me of when I was really young living on a farm and so on and so forth and um, green I've, I've always been drawn to green as my favorite color but since playing this game I have started to change my mind hot pink is fast becoming my favorite color and I gotta be honest it is difficult to uh, not put everything as hot pink right do you know <laughs> Siri, you, you stop throwing money at me. Please have some more. New pin. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. It is genuinely, genuinely brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, um, I know what I was saying. I know what I was saying. Don't let. I, I, I'm trying. To <laughs> oh, your take on farming simulator is absolutely the best. Mystery Islands music, twenty euros. Thank you so much. That is awesome. You are another legend. Another legend in the crew here. Uh, Jimmy J. Stevie supports breast cancer awareness. So I'm assuming that a lot of what he does is to do with supporting cancer and particularly breast cancer. But yeah, I know that um, there are some things that he's going through at the moment that are a bit difficult for him. Um, but yeah. This right here, okay, I look in here, and then I go to the design color. Do you know how difficult it is every time I see this load of colors right here, and this hot pink right there? Do you know how difficult it is not just to have everything on my farm as hot pink, right? Uh, there's something really appealing about hot pink vehicles. I don't know what it is. I mean, yeah, other colors look really good as well. They, they genuinely do. Um... Not do a touch of life update, such as eating and drinking upkeep to do it. You know, I wouldn't mind a bit of the whole survival element in Farming Simulator. However, I do think that if survival elements such as having to eat and drink were introduced to Farming Simulator, I definitely think that is a feature that should be optional. You should have the choice of switching it on and off um, for your individual game because otherwise it is definitely going to spoil the experience for some people it is absolutely no way that it wouldn't spoil the experience for some people um, but yeah I, I personally I think it would be absolutely great but I would definitely want to see it as option whoa -ho -ho! Um, right we, we may I'm, I'm doing extreme off-roading here and fortunately I have a fairly robust vehicle but I am struggling to get out of here no I'm I'm I'm, I'm thinking we've we've about had it <laughs> uh well let's let's just switch the engine off a minute and let's just let's just take account of our bearings right here if you are having a little look around and you're thinking that you're gonna you're gonna get hold of this map and you're gonna clear fell the entire forestry area some of those areas will be fairly simple, right? We've got some fairly straightforward stuff going on here. He's got an area up there. We can put down some placeables, that kind of thing. Looks pretty cool. If you're going to get out here on a mountain and start clear felling this lot, you're going to have your work cut out. You really are. You're going to end up like me. Stuck in a ditch with nowhere to go. It's very sad. It's very sad. Right, moving on. We're going to go and we're going to unload this combine now. We're going to get uh, you right there. The Fent 1050. So we've had a little bit of a look around on the map. I haven't looked at all of the map. We haven't explored it. Frith, they need to make a uh, hot pink DLC just for you. Um, okay, why not? Let's go for it. Hot pink DLC. Um, it's just that I have seen um, in real life 
just the occasional hot pink machine working beside the road, like a massive great big hot pink excavator working by the road. And I've seen uh, the old hot pink uh, tractor working in fields. And they do genuinely look awesome, right? It, it, I mean, it's ge it is surprising. It's the sort of thing that makes you look, not just look twice, but look five or six times. Uh, but they look awesome. They really do. They, they look absolutely amazing when you, when you look around at them. They look really, really cool. Um, and yeah, so I've sort of, I've seen them and I am able to get hot pink occasionally in the game and it, it just makes me want hot pink. I, I think, you know, this, this is, this is something that I could get on board with. I could, I could have a slice of this pie. Let's bring that one over there a minute and we'll stop that one right there. So we've got this, I've not actually used this big tractor before. I haven't used, you know, I haven't really used any of the big machinery at all. Not on any of my series. Someone said, when is the next, uh, survival aspect, don't fall down a cliff. Um... Hot pink coffee mugs, yeah. Hot pink series, yeah. Uh, somebody said, what did somebody say? I can't remember now. I was going to say something and now I've completely forgotten what that was. I have no clue, literally no clue what I was going to say. Uh, what was I going to, was, I was just thinking there was something that I wanted to do. I want to have a look at the, I want to have a look at the, the, the horses and stuff. I know what we're going to do. I know one thing that we're going to do. Right, we've got four horses on here at the moment. We own four horses. We, we could do with just, like, feeding the animals a little bit, just to see how he's, he's dealt with feeding the animals. Um, but we're going to scroll down here, and we've got Rogue right there. And I'm going to go rename. And Rogue is now going to become a new... Hang on. A new P9. New P9. There you go, new P9. That is awesome. You are awesome, sir. You are awesome. And then, Sonny, you are going to be... See if you can guess, folks. See if you can guess what his name is going to be. Mystery Islands Music. No! No! I, I, can't put, I, I, can't, I can't put the... I can't put the other bit. I can put Mystery Islands M. I can't put the full name. I'm so sorry. I failed. I have let you down. Mystery Islands M. New P9 and Mystery Islands M. There we go. So we've, we've got two horses named after the two most generous people that I have ever met in today's stream. And we will come over to there and into the John Deere. We want to move this one out of the way a minute because that's right in front of the... Uh, well, I think that's the, Is that the feed area? I want to have a little look around because I want to see the feed areas around here. Um, name one hot pink. Okay, I will name one hot pink for a minute. Uh, Kansas City Fire Department is a hot pink fire truck for breast cancer awareness that has been signed by survivors. That was pretty cool to see. Okay, that's that's pretty good. And here we go. Here we go. Uh, right, Charlie, rename. And we're going to rename Charlie to Hot Pink. Sorry, Charlie. You are now called Hot Pink. Just because that's a better name. Right, uh, just trying to have a look around and see if I can see anything else. I would assume it for the front blades in real life that exists. Still a thing to put a trailer behind, is it still a thing to put a trailer behind a combine? Um, trailer behind, what, you mean like the, the header trailer? I, I don't actually know what you mean by the, the, the trailer behind a combine, I'm assuming like this combine here you wouldn't put something behind it to actually use it and well actually that's the thing see in australia they do in australia you don't have a pto driven thing but i i have seen video footage of in australia where they put a baler behind the uh, behind the combine and they bale the straw as they go up across the field and it's, it's oil powered rather than pto driven and it does look quite amazing. However, Australia has a lot of sunshine. That's not something that we could ever do in the vast majority of Europe, if any. Maybe down in Spain we might be able to get away with doing something like that. But the vast majority of Europe, the, the, the straw is just too damp as it combines. You've got to leave it to dry a little bit, even if it's just like 24, 48 hours before you start bailing it up. Um, it would be highly unusual to be able to go along directly behind the combine and bale. I have seen it very, very occasionally. Um, but anyway, let's let's not worry about that. I want to I, I want to feed the cows. I want to feed all of these animals. I want to give them food. What should we feed them first? You know, none of them have got water. 
We need to find a water bowser. That's what we need to find. We need to go to... I know which vehicle I want. I want that vehicle right there. So this one does go a little bit faster. I'm pretty sure somebody asked me a question about... Uh, Frith, can you make a living just from doing YouTube or do you have another job? I actually make my living just from doing YouTube now. This is it. This is my sole means of survival. And... If somebody tells you that it's really, really easy and that YouTubers are stinking rich, uh, they're talking about no YouTuber I've ever heard of. The stinking rich part, yes, some of them are stinking rich. But trust me when I tell you they've earned their money. All right? there, there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes. For or It's very, very... There, obviously there are going to be the very occasional exception to the rule but um, like um, Dan Tedium those of you who know me know that I am a great admirer of Dan Tedium I think he's absolutely amazing um, he is rich he is, he's earned a lot of money and um, the thing is he's earned that money he has worked really really hard I've done what he's done I've you know, I, I've been there, I've, I've worked a full-time job and run, worked YouTube full-time at the same time. It's not easy, trust me. Um, and a lot of YouTubers have done this. You, you work your YouTube channel as a full-time job whilst also working a full-time job. And Dan TDM has done the same thing. He's been there, he's done that, he's worked a full-time job and he's run his channel and he has done so much extra work for his channel it is quite impressive and so he's, he's he's earned his way up but me no that i i'm more like most youtubers that do this full time we've just able to keep our heads above water we're just able to pay our bills this, this is the situation i'm in i am able to pay my bills i'm able to put food on the table other than that not a great deal else, right? I, I could definitely go and get a job that pays far more than what YouTube pays for me at the moment. Um, but I absolutely love doing this. I really, really do. And I was reaching a point where I was sort of seriously questioning whether or not I should. But I'm currently driving around looking for a water point, by the way. Um, but it's, it's absolutely not as easy as some people will have you believe it is. Trust me on this. It really isn't. Uh, digestate, that is. That's herbicide over there. He must... He's, he's going to have water here somewhere. He's bound to have water here somewhere. Um, digestate and herbicide right there. He's got a big grain store here that, quite frankly, looks like a very impressive grain store. Water is at the back of the cows. How do you know that? How do you know the water is at the back of the cows? I'm not questioning that it is at the back of the cows. But Miss Mucky Pup, how on earth do you know that? Where is it? It's at the back of the cow. We've got to look at the back of the cow. She said, back of the cow, because of that. Be beca be because of that right there. Uh, drop some hot pink merch. I'm, I would like to do. There, pond by the cow pen. You've all, yeah, all, all of you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um... Whoa, 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 whoa. Bring that over there. There we go. Back in sensibly. There we go. Uh, oops. I didn't want to do that. Press R. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Everybody who told me to go here, you were right. Thank you very much. I don't know if anybody else said, and I missed it. Um, but yeah, hot pink merch. Um... When me and Sen are able to set up some merchandise, we will be doing... I remember now what I was going to say. Okay, when we're ready to do the merchandise, we will. When, when we can set up a, a different, an alternative merchandise provider, we will so that there's more available. And it's available outside of just those countries. Uh, at the moment, unfortunately, it's only through Amazon that we can do it. Uh, but yeah, I remember what I was going to say. I was going to tell you... Oh, I got the hiccups really bad for a minute. Um, I was going to tell you what I've got planned for um, the, the, the 100,000, the, yeah, the, the, the subscriber thingy, the, the 100,000 face reveal. It was actually Sen's idea, because she's really quite nervous about doing a, a face reveal video. Um, she, 
Saving your content. Does it do it every time I press escape or something? Maybe it does. I don't, I don't know. Uh, wait. Chickens. Horses. The horse has got plenty of water. It's the cows I want to look at. Water. 10,000 litres for 10 cows. Wow. Well, they're not greedy at all. Right. Well, we've now given them water. So all the... Oh, hang on. No, sheep. The sheep that... We, we've got sheep up here as well. Have they got water? They do have water. The sheep have water. The pigs don't. Right, we've still got to get the pigs some water. Um, so, anyway, I was... Hang on. There. And come around this side. Um, so, Sen is really nervous about the face reveal. Right? She's really, really nervous about the face reveal. She has been for some time. And she's been getting more nervous as the... Uh, numbers have been going up on the channel. The, the, the more subscribers I get, the more nervous she's become. She came up with an idea that for the actual face reveal, the first face reveal, uh, she, she wants to sort of do it gently. Ra rather than going straight in, hardcore, she wants to do this a little bit more gently and just, just ease in a bit more gently to the whole idea of people looking at her. Um, because I said for the face reveal, it would be me and Sen possibly our two children as well we have two sons one is age 10 and one is age 13 possibly we're still not 100 percent sure on whether they will be included in the face reveal whether it be a whole family thing or if it just be the adults um but the actual face reveal video that we're going to do at 100,000 subscribers is not going to be live video it's going to be a selection of photos that sen is going to pick out and i'm just going to do a very short video to say hi We've reached 100,000. You guys are awesome. This is what I look like. Ha ha ha. You can't stop watching me now. Um, something along those lines. Sen's... Trust me when I say that Sen is the one that's the looker. Not me. Alright? Just, just... It was pigs I'm supposed to be feeding. Not, not the sheep. Um, Sen is the... You, you, you've watched Beauty and the Beast, right? Yeah? Okay, that, that'll give you an idea. That's, that's, that's the kind of thing we're approaching here. Um, so... We will do we, we will do that. There will be some photos. And you'll be able to have a look at a few just still shot photos of me, Sen, possibly two boys as well. Then, when we eventually get our um, 100,000 subscriber silver play button that comes in through the post. It, it can sometimes take a month or two to get here. But when we get that, my first actual face reveal live video will be us sitting down either be me and sen or all four of us uh, sitting down and we will um do an unboxing of the silver play button as my first video for face reveal so that's that's kind of the plan for it and i know that there are some people who don't want to see my face there are some people who don't like the whole idea of face reveal because you don't want to see You've got an idea of what a person looks like in your head, and you kind of want to keep that, and you don't want to spoil it with real life. And that's fair enough. That's absolutely fine. That's the way you want to do it. And I fully respect that. So anything that would have my face on, any face reveal material, I'm, I was just trying to think where I should put this. I'm going to put it over in this shed over here. Um, anything that has face reveal material will go on Frithgar 2.0 and not onto this channel. I will tell you on this channel when the video has gone up over there, because um, I haven't, I, I, I got the channel and then I posted a few videos of me using a, a shredder for a little while. Um, and then I didn't really do anything else with the channel. I've just kind of parked it up and done nothing with it. It still managed to get almost a thousand subscribers, but I've done nothing else with it. So I will let you know when it's up on there. So you can go and have a look. But it won't be on this channel, so those of you who don't want to see it aren't going to accidentally stumble across it. And that's kind of how I'm going to keep it. I'm not planning to introduce a huge, great big camera in the corner of my screen uh, so that you can stare at me and I can stare back. Um, because, personally, I don't really like that when I'm watching gameplay. I like to watch the game. I don't like to watch the person who's playing the game, uh, except in rare instances when I think it does actually fit. 99% of the time, for me personally, I don't get enjoyment out of watching a person... Um, on their camera and watching their personal reaction to it I like watching the actual game if it's like a reaction video or something like that I feel it's a bit different but yeah I've never been a great big fan of um, cameras in the games so hang on we go all the way up here put that onto there right so that's that's what I'm going to do um, 
back up a little bit. Uh, Fritz photos when he was six year old reveal. Um, Beauty and the Beast, you look like the clock. Yes, I look like Pierre, the clock. The great. Uh, for a minute, I was thinking the candlestick. Is that that's no? Which one's which one's Pierre? The the candlestick is Pierre, and the other one. I can't remember which way round they are now. I'm genuinely confused. I am genuinely confused. Uh, Sen does have to do it, but uh, yeah, um, a, a wedding photo. Sen won't want you to see the wedding photos. She was heavily pregnant during our wedding. Uh, we had our wedding. We had a themed wedding. We had a Robin Hood themed wedding. I was Robin Hood. She was Maid Marian. And every single guest bar one uncle who said, I'm not dressing up like that because it will look stupid. And, and then he was the only one that didn't dress up in medieval costume and ended up looking stupid. <laughs> really rather ironic. It really was. Um... But, uh, yeah, our wedding was Robin Hood themed. Everybody dressed up. It was absolutely wonderful. Our oldest son, he was three years old. Was he three? I can't remember now. He's, yeah, he was three because he's three years older than his brother. Um, he was three at the time. And so he was dressed up as well. And we decided... Wait. Why aren't you unloading? You're supposed to unload. This might be a bug. This might be one of those bugs. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember something about this. It's not, like, ready on all of it. The, the unload point was um, not quite in all of it. Now, I wasn't actually wearing tights. I was wearing a more realistic, um, what do you call it, uh, a medi I was wearing a more realistic medieval outfit, so I wasn't actually wearing tights. Um, but, yeah, we, it was full Robin Hood theme. But uh, Sen was very heavily pregnant at the time. Uh, she gave birth to our second son less than a month after we got married. And um, so, yeah, she was absolutely huge, absolutely enormous. And she had a custom made Maid Marian dress um, for the wedding. It looked absolutely awesome. But, uh, yeah, she's, she's not that keen on too many of the wedding photos because she is huge, big and round. Like she's swallowed a very large beach ball. It's very funny. I tease her about it from time to time. Um, and then she hurts me, so I don't do it too much. Um, but it was absolutely... It was awesome fun. It really was. And then for our... Um, after we had the whole themed wedding, everybody was all dressed up. It was absolutely wonderful and amazing and good fun. Have I only got two bales of grass? We'll take this tractor right here, look, and we'll use this one a minute. And we use this one to go and put in a bale or two of grass but i'm just thinking i'm not sure if we've got any other food i don't think we have right this we've got a shed over here but this one i believe is a cell point this one all the way through here is a cell point i'm soon going to find out is it a cell point or not i have a i was going to say i have a real bale here I don't think that's a real bale. Because I think I'm actually in the middle of a cell point. If you have a look here. Uh, we'll come down like that. We'll zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Right there. Farm windrow cell. We're in a cell point. So those aren't actual bales that we can use. They are props. Um, that's interesting to note. So I have seen a bale of grass. Uh, yeah, anyway. After the wedding. We, when we went to the, we, you know, the wedding reception, everybody has the wedding reception, and very often it's all they all look the same. You know, most weddings they all look the same. Everybody's all dressed up in the same stuff, and everybody all goes along, and they all have uh, a big fancy sit-down dinner. We had hog roast. It was at the local village hall. It was all decorated with flowers and um, a bit of bunting as well, which was typical. Medi I think those bales aren't real bales either. I can't stick the spike in them. Um, yeah, I I'm thinking those are decoration. I've got no food for my animals. I'm going to starve. This is no good. Uh, oh, and we've got chickens here as well. We need some, we'll get some grain in for the chickens in a minute. We'll have to, we'll have to make sure we do that. Okay, right, fine. I'm going to just put you there a minute. We may have to go and get some bales in a bit. 
but yeah, um, so we had the hog roast. We we um, had the, uh, the the whole wedding and everything, and it was it was just absolutely brilliant. So, I for my wedding party, uh, I I didn't you know. I, you get a lot of stories of a groom who gets really drunk on his wedding day and, and stuff like that and makes a fool of himself at the wedding party. I sat down and I stuffed my face with pork. That's what I did. That's what I did. Uh, Senleia was not... She, she wasn't sort of doing very well with her late pregnancy at the time. Couldn't Could barely walk at all. So for our honeymoon, we didn't go anywhere. We stayed home in our house someone else had our son for a week and we played world of warcraft together and for our honeymoon we both started oops, keep that one running for our honeymoon we both started new characters uh you can buy oh, you can buy grass go from the pigs then down then two on the right is where you can buy grass how do you know so much about this map already how you must you've been someone else has been streamed so so i know some a couple of people have done some stuff on this um, right, we have inside information here, people. We have inside information. Farm supplies. Right. Uh, so, yeah, the, um, our honeymoon, we started new characters on World of Warcraft. And in that week, for our honeymoon, we went on a tour of Azeroth. It was a very romantic tour of Azeroth. We went and explored all of the continents, and we got the explorer titles on those two new characters. As uh, that, that was basically our honeymoon. And Sen always tells me that I should never tell people that, because it's really, really sad that we spent our honeymoon exploring Azeroth instead of actually going somewhere on a nice holiday destination. Um, but uh, oh, you played on the map, Miss Monkey Butt. She's, she's, wow, she has had inside information. Okay, that's that's like serious inside information. That is, um, so uh, yeah, we we, um, we 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 spent our honeymoon in in Azeroth, which I thought was absolutely wonderful because I was a very hardcore um, World of Warcraft player at the time, anyway, and there I was having my honeymoon in Azeroth. What more could a man ask for? I was marrying the most beautiful woman in the world. And I got to spend my honeymoon in Azeroth. It was amazing. It was genuinely awesome. Right. We have no bales at the moment. But according to Miss Mike, Let's try out this voucher right here. According to Miss Mucky Pup, we have got... Um, farm supplies. Something about the pigs. And then second star on the right. Straight on till morning. I think I may be confusing her instructions with something else. Just possibly. Uh, we'll come over to here. Is it down this way? I may have got in the shed by field two are props. I can't get them to pick up. Where's field two? Shed by field two. Oh, props down over here. So where did you say that I had to go? There was another place I had to go. Let me go back around this way. I uh, can't remember what I made for my character for World of Warcraft for my honeymoon. I think it was my paladin. I think I made the. I think I think I got I got the paladin. Um, go around here. Can't get anywhere. Uh, Seven hundred and thirty-three in wages. Uh, somebody said, uh, "Send is wrong." My wife thought your honeymoon sounds very cute. Well, I really enjoyed it. And Sen, don't get me wrong, Sen did enjoy it. Um, and I have promised her that one day I will take her on a very nice holiday. And it will be absolutely wonderful. It will be an amazing holiday. Um, but I don't know when and where. Hang on. Go over here. And it's pr No, this, this is just where we got to unload the other grains, isn't it? So I'm, I'm in the wrong place. Seeds. Far oh, hang on. Farm supplies. Seeds. Straw. Grass. Ah, <gasps> silage, lime, to you can just buy to- I'll have some of that, thank you very much, don't mind if I do, I'll trail a load of total mixed ration, it's already there, you just go and buy it, pre-made, built into the- $881, for a trailer load of pre-made total mixed ration, I love this guy! 
Stevie, you are amazing. You are absolutely wonderful. You are, without a doubt, the single most wonderful human being I have ever met in the last five minutes. It is absolutely amazing. Let's bring that round there. And there we go. Bring that all the way back. Twin Cam Gaming. My mum plays Total. I'm going to try and read a bit of the, the comments just, just while we go here. Um, buy bales from the vehicle shop. I will try to do that. Um, once in the shield, uh, bales of grass near field two. Those seem to be props. Um, World of Warcraft, green hunter with bow. I've always played Alliance in Warcraft. I've always played Alliance. I tried playing. I honestly, I did try to play Horde. I could not get on with it. I, I just don't like, I don't feel it. I just don't feel the Horde. I, I really don't. I'm Alliance through and through. I really am. Absolutely through and through. I'm 100% Alliance all the way. Uh, what do we got in here? 21. We could, we could put quite a lot more in here. We need hay and silage as well. Do we have to have grass in here for these? I, you know, I, I have no idea. I don't actually know how cows work. I know that, you know, you put food in one end and you get milk come out the middle bit and then you get the fertilizer come out the other end. I know that bit about how cows work. Don't get me wrong. I, I, um, I, I do understand some basic concepts of agriculture. Um, straw. Can we just put loose straw in for them? That's, that's what we've got to find out. I want to put the straw in and the total mixed ration and then we've already got water and then I want to speed time up a little bit and I want to see what we can get with... Um, there, so we've got hay, pig food, seeds. There's the straw. Tray load of straw, thank you very much. Mind if I do? Get that loaded in there. There we go. When I, when I was watching Farmer's Dynasty, you seem to know a bit about construction. Do you do much construction in real life or mostly just projects on the farm? I used to work as a farmer. I worked as a farmer for several years. Um... I've worked for moorland sheep farmers and moorland beef farmers. I've worked for big scale arable and beef and sheep operations. Uh, I did do a very short stint on a dairy farm, and um, but mostly my experience has been with sheep and beef and some with large scale arable. Uh, I'm going to assume that we would put the... Actually, no, I think that's the cattle sell point right there. I don't think that would be... No, it wouldn't be. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've had varied experience with farming. Uh, but I've also had construction jobs as well. I've mostly worked for groundwork construction. Although I have done some stints with uh, builders as well. So I've, I've had a varied career. So I, I have actually worked as a builder. I worked as a builder for a year. Maximum capacity of feeding troughs suffices to feed the animals for 10 days. It's not letting me put straw in for them uh there hay silage well okay so i can't put straw in there where do i put loose straw i don't put straw in there we may have to put straw in that i think there is for the blower is there a, you is there a way to put that in there is there a way i think that's where we take the milk away definitely don't put it in straw can, i don't think you can put loose straw in for cows can you for it's on the side of the pond okay i'm heading around that way now i'm heading around that way now off we go help a deer is a full grain tank go and have a look at that in a minute ah look we got another we've got another point right here there's a point ah start overloading straw put that in there is that going to where's the the, the fill point that's it's inside the shed and outside as well, it goes right between the two. That is awesome. But I've now got all this straw. Can I go and put that into storage? Or do I have to just dump it on the floor somewhere? Let's find out. I will find out. Um, I'm going around here. Uh, so, yeah. The Farmer's Dynasty, I was mostly talking from my builder experience. Although working for various... You know, I could just use some of this straw to put in for some of these other guys. Uh, these horses over here, they, they, they could do with a bit of straw. And pigs, they'll want some straw. Put a bit in there for them. Um, yeah, I've, I've done various construction work, working for builders. And I've also done a lot of construction projects whilst 
working on various different farms as well. So I've, I've done a lot of, of different things. Tiffany Hutchinson, shout out to my sister. She's 18 tomorrow. Happy birthday to your sister, whoever your sister might be. Um, first time with a farming sim live stream. Does Frith realize he will now have to have a hot pink wedding anniversary after today's episode? Uh, I'm not sure Sen is going to want hot pink, to be honest, because she's not a big fan of hot pink at all. I did once buy her her first the first time I ever actually managed to buy her a gaming laptop. Um, I got her into gaming. Very proud to say any male gamer who's able to persuade his other half to join him in gaming. I basically all I did was I just showed her World of Warcraft and she sat down in front of it and started playing and started playing on a character I was using. I persuaded her to start a new character and she did that and the thing is, though, she didn't want to get off of my character. CG, one euro. Thank you very much, sir. That is absolutely awesome. You are a legend. That is brilliant. Let me just go and get this grain off of this one, and I'll name a horse after you. Um, so, what's she called? Um, she, yeah, I said what's she called. She's called Sen. She's, the send is her gamer tag, by the way. It's not her real name. Um, she... <laughs> yeah, what's she called? She's, she's going to be really pleased with that, isn't she? What's she called? Um, so, yeah, she, she I, I persuaded to start a new character. And she started playing World of Warcraft. And then I couldn't get my PC back, could I? No, she wanted to have a go. Well, you've been having a go for weeks. I want to turn. And she had it for the whole of the rest of the evening. I managed to get it back for an hour after she went to bed. And during that hour, I went straight to Overclockers, which is my go-to website for purchasing anything to do with computers. And I ordered up a gaming laptop for her. And it had one of the options for the gaming laptop was hot pink. So I bought her a hot... <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Right, right, there we go, there we go, okay, um, so, yeah, she, first face reveal of a black eye from Sen, <laughs> uh, maybe, I'll tell you about how she tried to kill me one day, I might tell you later, um, she got into gaming, she got into it big time, like serious big time, she got into gaming, so I ordered her this hot pink laptop and I put express delivery on it and it turned up the next day. Never bought anything express delivery before. Um, but yeah, she'd taken my gaming computer away from me and that was that was just no. I'd, I'd, I'd not been without my gaming computer since I was uh, 17 years old and there, there she was using my gaming... I, I don't want to go that way. Okay, we're going to have to go cross country here. I'll take this back over here. Um, I, I was... Um, I was stuck. I, I had to. I had to order express delivery. I, I, I didn't save money. I spent it recklessly. And I don't regret it. I absolutely don't regret it at all. I went and spent that money. I think that I can't put this into the storage because I think the storage is not the bit that is the, is the bit over the side. So I reckon I might just have to sell this. I wonder if I can sell it loose. Travel right over there. Oh, I can. I can start overloading. Does it sell it or does it just store it? Uh, it doesn't sell it. It just stores it. Right. Well, there's the straw. And so Sen's laptop turned up and it was hot pink. And she thought it was really nice. She thought it was a really nice gesture. But um, then I, but she said she wanted a sewing machine for something because she wanted to try doing some sewing. We, we, we bought like, this really small sewing machine. She's, she doesn't like sewing. Okay, She's not into sewing at all. But she needed it for something that she was doing. So I, I bought one. And I bought it in hot pink. And, yeah, she was not happy. She said, look, the hot pink was nice once. But I, I'm, I, I, I'm not a fan of pink. She just, she's not a fan of pink. Um, so I, I, didn't, um, I, I didn't get her hot pink again after that. And she, she's not really a big fan of hot pink, apparently. She says she's not a fan of hot pink. Um, so, yeah, uh, I probably won't be doing much with the, the hot pink for Sen. But um, for me, I'm, I'm starting to become a big fan of hot pink. Now, what was I going to do? I know I need to put grain in for the chicken. Oh, I know what I was going to do. There was something I was thinking I need to do that. 
because I want to check it. So we go down to here. And we go to the cows. Right, we're now on the cows. We've got 20% productivity. We've got total mixed ration. We've got water. We've got straw. And we've got... So the conditions are good, right? Total mixed ration effectiveness 100%. Hay silage 75. Grass 25. Oh, effectiveness. Ah. Right, I reckon... I reckon... I reckon is that what they what says around here, where I live, is I reckon if us does it like this, which is kind of sounds a bit like what people would say, say Somerset sounds like, but it's not quite. It's a little bit different here in Cornwall. Um, if you look up here, we've got 20% productive. Well, they haven't got any food. It's understandable for the pigs. They've got no food. Uh, the sheep, they haven't got anything either. The chickens, again, they, they, they don't have anything. But the cows, look at this. Cows, they're doing so well. Let me slow time down again. We've, we've done that enough. They're doing so well now. Uh, so this this is actually something that I do like, is the fact that if you put the total mixed ration in, you don't have to go and put grass and hay in as well. You've only got to put one of them in. That, I think, is absolutely brilliant. So effectiveness, 100% on those. Uh, if you look in here, we've got to have oats, 60% in the hay, 40% for the horses. So they've got to have a bit of everything. Chickens over here, wheat and barley, 100% effectiveness. They've got to have something. Sheep, they are grass hay. It's exactly the same. But I've not looked at pigs. I've not seen what they have. Uh, 50, 25, 20, and 5. So it is the same as what... They're the same as what they were in F17. You've got to get everything in there. But the, the, the one major, major difference is that cows no longer have to have separate hay and silage you can just give them the total mixed ration. I didn't know this. You probably all knew this by now. But I haven't actually done... This is the first time I've done cows in FS19. Right? This is the first time I've done cows. Right. Um, someone was asking questions about... Have I... Like, how, how many far sheep did I used to farm, I think? Um, hang on. Right, I don't need... Do I want to be driving around some more? I suppose I could. We could go and get some more stuff. If I, what, ooh, what have we got in storage? We could feed the pigs while we're at it. Let me have a look. I've got, lots of, I've got everything that I could possibly want in storage right here. And we've got potatoes. We've got tatey poes and we've got sugar beets. We've got everything. We're, 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 we're loaded to the gunnels with all kinds of treats. I'm going to use this tractor because it's a bit faster. And then we've got our tray. Where did I go and hide that voucher? It's around here somewhere. I'm getting a bit bored with just wandering around the farmyard, though. We've, we've been doing this for a while. We need to go and do something else. Let's try something else in a minute. You are still combining. I tell you what. If I was to do... If I was to, like, move the live... Not the live... The time lapse onto this map. It'd take a while to do some of these fields. It really could. And I was looking at this map earlier. And I was thinking, how could I realistically get a story that... This is now the new area. Like, that's our farm there. Short of, like, doing some sort of time travel thing and a uh, major, I don't know, some sort of major explosion, maybe a volcanic eruption here in the middle of Felsbrunn, which removed the castle and filled up all of this around here. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might be a bit extreme. But I'm loving this map. I am absolutely loving this map. It's genuinely amazing. I'm going to go to the spinnery a minute. Because I want to have a look over this way, and I want to see what he's done over here. Just want to have a look through. So you've got a beautiful stream here. Pebbles in the water. It's absolutely wonderful. And then we've got a nice, great, big field over here. Loads of field. Look at it. Look at it. Huge, great, big field. This is awesome. Right. We have got over... Oh, there's the trailer. I le... Ah, yes. I left it round the side. Right. Um, field two. Oh, your oats. I thought I thought we had field eight. That's grass. Field eight. I need field eight. Then we go to land like this, and field eight right there is four hundred and forty-nine thousand. I'm going to buy field eight. Yes, I now own field eight. We already own this one. That's part of what we already. That's the biogas plant. It is. You start off owning the BGA. Let's go and have a look at the BGA, because this is one I've not done either. Here we go. Right, we've got a unload point. Do we just... 
But I digestate from that one. Could be. Just buy the digest digestate from there. Uh, you've got... That looks like grain. I think this is where you tip in the um, silage into this one. Tip the silage into there. Out of those silos. And I'm very pleased to see that we've got some big silos in there. That's very awesome to see. Um, let me go up here. And you've got first bits of it. You've got a nice view up here. I like the look of this place. That could be a bit of fun. And right. Never mind any of that. I, th there is a very specific thing that I want to go and do right now. I want to get this one here. And I want to see what happens when we go and do a bit of mowing. I've not used this crone big M yet in any live stream at all. So we're going to go and do a little bit of mowing now. We'll ignore the combine in the field. We'll ignore the animals. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I made a promise. And I am really sorry. You donated right in the middle of the live stream. And I didn't do it. And I said that I was going to as well. You should have reminded me. I'm really sorry. Uh, Sichi, right there. The next donation in the live stream. So we've got New P9, Mystery Islands Music, and Sichi have donated in live stream and then we got a hot pink there as a backup that is brilliant yep the, the, i'm gonna leave the pickup there for a minute right i'm going to slowly cruise my way on bite moose is relincor change your name on your youtube channel have you i think you have i'm pretty sure you used to be called something different than that i don't remember now genuinely don't remember right we we'll we're, we're, we're wander up through here um is this a mod of Feldsprint? Yes, it is. This is by Steve. For those, okay, so those of you who don't know, this is um, a map that has been created by Stevie. It's a very, very heavily modded map of Felsbrunn. The This is still the beta test. Uh, the actual full version of this is going to be released sometime in the next couple of weeks. And the if it's in the next two weeks, within the next two weeks, I'll most likely do my next live stream on the full release version and we can have a look and see if there's any differences or anything like that. And just to have another general play around on it um, and, and take a good look at it. But so far, I am thoroughly, thoroughly, seriously mega impressed with this map. I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's awesome. Uh, well, that grass is a bit short. Is that actually ready to harvest? It, sh it should be ready to harvest. It said ready to harvest, didn't it? Please tell me that I got that right. Oh, I didn't look, did I? Did I? I didn't look. I just I just did that. Grass. But I didn't do that. That's not ready to harvest. Look, see that right there? That's that's the strong indication this isn't ready to harvest. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the magic of time travel. We're going to use the magic of time travel. I'm going to switch that one off. It's going to leave it there. We've got crop growth is on fast anyway, so that'll be fine. Uh, I think everything else is, is turned off. Um... Right, let's see. A little bit. Ex Khan Wolf, twenty dollars. You sir are an absolute legend. You are a genuine legend. That is amazing. <laughs> Let me just get this one up under here. We're gonna go and buy another horse. We, we have to. We have to buy another horse. We have to put that in the field. Um. Is my chat broke for if there's anyone chatting? There, there are people chatting. I see people chatting. Uh, Khan Wolf, you are a legend, sir. A genuine legend. If I leave this one here, is the combine going to get... Uh, you know, I, I think I... No, I don't. I have to go to the actual horse place, don't I? I have to go down here. We have to go to the horse paddock. It's that one right there. Visit. Okay, I'm about to be mobbed. No! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not going to hurt you. Horses don't like me. They know that I'm not very good with horses. And so then they all come rushing up to me and tried to make me nervous. Horses are mean like that, okay? They're, they're going to take over the world one day. And then I'll just lean back and I will say, I told you so. That's all that will happen. Horses will one day take over the world. Let me put these. They're probably just angry with me because I haven't fed them yet. That's what, that's, that's what it is. They're, they are angry because I haven't fed them yet. We can have a horse. We can have a horse right here. Uh... Okay, Gun Wolf, if you are able to in the chat, what colour horse would you like? We have grey, we have pinto, we have palominos, we have chestnuts, we have bays, we have blacks, we have seal browns, and we have duns. We have lots. We have lots of horses. Equisphobia. 
Uh, quite possibly. I have a healthy respect for horses. I have a very healthy respect for them. I respect them so long as they stay away from me. And they respect me so long as I stay away from, yeah, from them. And it, it works out very well for all of us. Um, let me just see if there's anything else on the chat that I may have missed. Uh, playing Mashinki and I have no idea. Um, thank you for the info, Frith. Back. Name the horse. Yes, I'm, I'm going to... I'm just wondering which colour we should pick. Just wondering which one we should pick. What do you think? What do you think? Um, right, well, I will buy a palom... We've got a palomino in, in there. There There is already a palomino. Uh, Pinto? Do we have a Pinto? I'm not sure. I'm going to go for a big black horse. I'm going to go for that one right there. Uh, we have to go move, don't we? Like this. Okay. And... What do I do now? Oh, space to confirm. There. Right, I have bought. And then I will go there. And no, I will go I will go here. And then we go Vagabond. This needs not called Vagabond. Just put that in there. Right. Khan. Oops. Don't spell that right. Khan Wolf. There we go. Right. Khan Wolf. We have we have a, a horse. Right. Um Black horse, why not? Ha ha ha! Yes! I read his mind! I bought the black horse before he said black horse! Ha 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 ha! At least I think I did. You may have said that whilst I was doing it, and I, I didn't sort of read it. I may It may have even come up on the chat in front of me, and I didn't see it. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We're racing the weeds. I actually really like it when they do that, because it looks really cool, racing away from you. And we'll bring you over to here. That is actually all ready to go now. So it's just about ready to harvest. I'm not going to harvest yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to go there. And I'm going to go farm silo. No. Hindro sales. Is it? Right. Well, we'll go here. And then we'll go over this way. And we will skip the night while we've got hired help going and, and everything else going. And we'll bring that one up here like this. There's our chickens. We really need to give them some food as well, don't we? Poor chickens. They've just been abandoned by Frithgar. Uh, what am I wanting to do? I'm going to press... Wait. Why is it not working? Do I have to go inside? Why can't I sleep? Why can't I sleep? Um. Oh, dear. Uh, a... Bug. You said about half a second before I went and got the black horse. Ha ha ha. Awesome. That's brilliant. I can't go to sleep. I have no sleep option. I thought that the house would have had it set up so that I could sleep. Apparently it doesn't. There is going. There is a way around this. I have a way around this. Frithgar has a way, ladies and gentlemen. Do not fret. Frithgar has the power. I'm going to go to there. Uh, I'm going to go to placeables. I'm going to go to farmhouse like that, and I'm going to get me a deck chair. See this one right here? Bring that one down here. Uh, let me place it there. I'm going to just bring that one down over here. I'm going to nudge it down this way, right there, and... I've got the place anywhere mod. That's why it's green. I wondered why it was the place anywhere mod. There! Oh, it's, it's, it's not letting me pick it up. It's, it's letting me try to pick it up, but... There we go. Now I can sleep out on my deck. We will sleep for 13 hours from this point. I don't know if that's going to be too much. Quite possibly that's going to be too much. We'll have to we'll, we'll have to see. Right, there we go. We are now 10 o'clock in the morning. We slept late. We were working very hard yesterday. In our defense, we were working very, very hard. Right, we will go back this way now. Uh, you can't sleep option not in this map yet. I slept. I found a way around it. Found a way around it. Our diligent worker here, Sen Leia, she's worked right through the night. She's made of sterner stuff than me. I was going to tell you how Sen nearly killed me, wasn't I? She's probably not going to thank you for this. Um, actually, she probably won't really care. She, she just finds the whole thing really funny. We were out in the park 
one day we had walked to the supermarket and we had bought some bread and we had bought a small jar of marmite the small jar of marmite was in the bottom of the bag and then there were two loaves of bread sen was carrying the bag now she knew that there was a jar of marmite in that bag right she knew there was a jar of marmite in that bag because she put the jar of marmite in the bag and then we put the bag put the loaves of bread on top she was carrying it and then we were going along and i said something to her teased her about something and i'm not really sure what it was i was laughing and joking and pulling stupid faces at her and generally just teasing her to the absolute max of my ability because i was just in one of those moods that particular day and i turned my back for a moment when wham proper like that bang right on my head and I just went down like a sack of spuds right to the floor. I'm pretty sure I did actually pass out before I hit the ground. I was I regained consciousness like before I hit the ground, but I've never been hit on the head that hard before ever. Like proper wham. And the next thing I know, Sen is standing over me, shouting at me to stop being so stupid and get up. Stop it. What do you, what do you think you're doing? Stop being so stupid. Just get up. What are you doing? And I'm sort of lying there, dazed, clutching at my head, wondering what has just dropped out of the sky when I realise she's swinging the bag around. Right? She's swinging this bag around. She had gotten annoyed with me and, you know, had, had gone to hit me with the bag. Forgetting completely, so she says, very convenient, I think, a bit of temporary amnesia. I don't believe it. She says she forgot that there was a thing of um, Marmite in, in the bag. Um, and I, I was sort of clutching at my head and said something about the, the Marmite. And then she looked and then she immediately burst out laughing. That's what makes me think it was all part of the evil plot. She was laughing after she nearly killed me with a jar of Marmite. So she walloped me over the head with this thing, nearly killed me and then started laughing. And it was, um, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Um, yeah, so, uh, the, the, the Sen, Sen nearly killed me. She took that jar of Marmite and she walloped me over the head with it like proper nearly killed me. I swear she tried to kill me or because I said something that was actually really funny. I don't remember what it was. I, I really don't remember what it was. Um... But yeah, I, I've um, I, I never forget that. I just, just kind of sort of wham. And then she stood over me, shouting at me for being stupid because I'm on the ground. And I, I'm like, you, you nearly killed me. And then another time she she tends to like gesture. She, she gets like, uh, you know, quite passionate about things. And she'll gesture with whatever she's got in her hand. And she was cutting up some vegetables one day and I said something. And she was gesturing, and then she turned round as she was gesturing and actually stabbed me with a knife. Like, properly drew, but she had a sharp knife, and she stabbed me with a knife because she gestured as she turned round. And, yeah, you know, she could have killed me with that as well. She nearly killed me there, so she, she stabbed me with a knife, and she tried to kill me with a Marmite jar. Sen is dangerous. All right, I'm telling you, Sen is dangerous. Don't ever cross Sen Leia because you, you may not live to tell the tale. The lady is dangerous. She is absolutely dangerous. She is not to be crossed. Don't mess with Sen. Don't cross Sen. If Sen tells you to do something, my goodness me, you better do it because, ladies and gentlemen, that lady is dangerous. That lady is dangerous. I reckon if we do this along here, look, if I press H right there... Oh, wow, that, that like... Whoa! Wait a minute. What happened there? They lifted up into the air. Press B. Didn't it? It look, it's lifting up into the air. I didn't know it did that. That's so cool. That lifts up and stays out. I think can you leave this as a windrow as well? Lower, fold, higher, toggle worker. 
Select work mode widespreading. Selected work mode. How do I change the... Turn on mower. Oh, left control. Yeah, there we go. It's right in the middle. And then we can do that. So it goes and then it chucks the side ones into the middle. If that's what I want to do. I don't want to do that, though. Left... What? Left swath. So that chucks it all out the side there. Ah! So you can make, like, a bigger swath. Wait a minute. i got to try this out. i got to try this whole swath thing. Because then you get, like, a double width. And then you go down it with a small accumulator thing. That could be pretty cool. Let's... let's so hired help operate with it. Oh, it, leaves, it does leave another bit as well. But that's pretty... Oh, I see. Right. It it pushes everything from that side into the middle so that when you're going round the outside edge of the field, you don't have everything going right to the edge of the... That is awesome! That is, like, proper, proper awesome. I love it. I had no idea that was even a thing. Seriously, there is so much about this game that I don't know. Um... But anyway, right, uh, I've, I've completely ignored chat for a minute while I was busy finding out what this is all about, so I may have missed something important. If I have missed something important, I do apologise. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to miss something. Let me just press H on there. That one's going to go all the way up there. We'll, we'll keep working out. Uh, I'm just going to have a look back around here. Uh, stop complaining you had a 50-50 chance of being hit with soft bread. Wasn't Sen's fault. Um, well, technically, she put the Marmite jar in there and she... She must have felt it when she swung the bag. I'm sure she did. I reckon she knew. I reckon she knew. Um, but yeah, so she, she did almost... You know, she, she stabbed me with a knife as well. That that, that bit, I, I don't ever forget. And, and she said, well, that was my fault because um, I know that she tends to gesture and I shouldn't have been stood right behind her. So apparently that was my fault as well. It's all, it's apparently it's always my fault. It seems to be a recurring theme here. But anyway, I will just state for the record, okay, just in case anybody is coming away from this with the wrong impression, that Sen has at no point actually tried to kill me, and Sen is, right, it, it, we are very happy together, and uh, Marmite, I don't know where you're from, it's kind of like Vegemite, but it's, it's a yeast extract based type of thing, um, but yeah, Sen is the center of my universe, she is the most amazing person ever and we are very very happy so I, I i don't want anybody to think that you know that we that there's any issues or that um she's literally actually tried to kill me it, it was actually an accident even if she did laugh i mean the, 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 when when she stabbed me she did laugh at that because i said ow and she laughed and said she shouldn't got in the way but when she actually seen that i was bleeding and there was blood on it it, it wasn't deep okay it wasn't deep it was like three millimeters the blade went in so it really wasn't much but she still stabbed me that's the point the point is she stabbed me and um, she did actually seem sorry for just a moment until she realized that it was barely more than a scratch then she started laughing again um so yeah she, she, she was obviously very very distraught by the whole thing the absolute genuinely distraught um hang on something very disgusting See, now this is the thing. Marmite is... It, Marmite in the UK is... Um, there's, there's Vegemite. It's, it's... Yeast extract is what it's most commonly known as. It's a, um, you just have it and you spread it on toast. Uh, or on bread, however you want to have it. But the big thing that Marmite is known for is that you either love it or you hate it. Very, very few people ever have Marmite and are relatively indifferent to it. Right, you either really, really like the stuff, or you absolutely hate the stuff and you can't stand it. There are very, very few people that ever have Marmite and think, uh, well, I can take it or leave it. Um, and that's kind of a big thing that Marmite actually market themselves on. They actually do go and market this, that you either love it or you hate it. Um, and they have some quite funny adverts with it as well. But, uh, yeah. Right. At least my mind works better than the gas station keeper in FS7. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, I am better than that, at least. At, well, um, uh, even though you nearly died with her. All hail our Lord. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Mar Marmite is a foul, disgusting black muck. That some people like and put some. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that our beloved Miss Mucky Pup here is not a fan of Marmite. However, she does seem to like Zen. Zen Lei is my idol. She is the queen of battle pets in WoW. She is. She's got like 900 unique ba battle pets in WoW now. Um, trying to be at half as good as her. She is quite amazing with the whole battle pet thing. She really is. Um, you should have known by now that as a man, everything is always your fault. You know, someone once said to me, in all seriousness, that I should control her better. When I laughed in his face and I told him that he was a moron. And did you know that the Celts used to have a saying? You know, fierce Celtic warriors, they had a saying. And that saying was quite simple, uh, quite simply that if you can control your woman, she's not the one for you. Simple as that. If you can control her, she's not the one for you. That's all that needs to be said on that, really, I think. I have never got any hope of ever being able to control Sen. It's just not going to happen. Heard a Vegemite from the Men at Work song. I love that Men at Work song. I love it. I love that Men at Work song. And pretty much none of the other music that Men at Work have done, I don't, I don't particularly like. But that one is... Uh, I really do like that one. Um... What else we got? Marmite is just as bad as having Oxo on toast. I've never had Oxo on toast. I do quite often have an Oxo cube in a cup of hot water. I'm not a fan of beef Oxo in hot water. I'm curious why the hired help isn't going to the end of the row with the whole thing and why it's leaving these little strips. Is that a common thing with his crone? Disappointing that. Anyway, we'll leave that one. That one's going to carry on there because I'm going to be bored with just sat watching that. And... What else do we want to do? We've, we've got this one here. Let's go and get that combine a minute. Oop, wrong way. Get the combine. We'll unload this one and we'll just move him out of the way. And I'm not going to start doing any bailing or anything like that. I don't want to, I don't want to do jobs like that. Um, just thinking what else we could do. What, what else can we go and do? Right, let's get this unloaded here a minute and we'll get it into storage. And then we'll see what else we could go and do for a minute. Um, uh, Frithgar, thank you for getting me into this game. Um, ever hear of Tay? T A E? Uh, not sure. No. Uh, hate it too. Would rather lick tarmac. That's a bit extreme. I used to work for a groundworking company. Um, I can assure you that licking tarmac is not as pleasant as eating marmite. But then I like Marmite, and I didn't like the tarmac. I accidentally got some in my mouth one day. That's not an experience that I wish to repeat anytime soon. Trust me on this. It is definitely not an experience I wish to repeat anytime soon. Getting tarmac in your mouth. The, the, just that the tar is, um, oh, it is vile. It's genuinely vile. It's nasty stuff. Um, right. My wife tried to kill me with a box of crackers last night. Well, if you're just talking about, you know, things being thrown at you, I, 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 well, she tries to kill me with lots of things, to be honest. I think she's just secretly hoping that they'll accidentally, and then, then she can take a lie detector test and say that, well, I didn't know it was in there. Um, and, and she'll be telling the truth. But there. Tennis racket square in the face. I've, no, I've never had anything like that. Not like that. Uh, but then me and Sen don't play tennis, and... She can, she, she, she can be a little bit clumsy sometimes. So if we did play tennis, it would genuinely not surprise me um, if I one day ended up with a tennis racket full in the face. It really wouldn't. It would genuinely... I would not be surprised. Um, I'm hoping that Sen doesn't actually watch this live stream or she may decide to take up tennis. She really, really might. Just, 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 just for laughs. Just for the giggles that may result. So I want that one right there. This one is already full of manure. It's all ready to go. So let's go and take this one up to the field and just test this one out a minute. We'll put this over the straw. I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to worry about the straw swath. I'm not going to worry about that. 
I just want to get this spread on the field. I want to see what it's like because I've not actually used it yet. It looks quite cool as it goes along. And you've got the, the bigger wheels on the back there just to sort of aid you with um, like loading it and everything. How far is this 23,000 litres going to go? And first of all, how far does it spread? This needs to unfold. Okay. Oh, you just got to open the door. Right. Cope with that. Goes out about that far. So I want to just move it over a little bit, I'd say, so that we are at least covering the field. Get to about that point, maybe. There. I could probably move it over a little bit more just to take full advantage of that. We'll do that for now. We'll do that. Yes, I know. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm, I'm ignoring the straw. I want to see this one working. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know what I've done wrong. I know what I've done. I know what I've done. I left it on. I, I deliberately left it on because I thought it might be a bit easier for us. Um. But we don't actually want it for this. It's not going to work. Uh, help a refill fuel is fine. And seed and fertilizer. But not slurry and not manure. We'll keep it like that. There. Okay, now let's go. That's better. Right. Now you're away. That's using it up pretty fast. I think if I was to try to farm this field here organically, it could take us a fair while to get a load of this out on the field. It really could. I'm going to just sort of hold that there a minute. I'm going to go down through the chat very quickly if I can. Uh, my wife kept throwing small fireworks under my feet and did not, not let me use fireworks at New Year. <laughs> um, tarmac may be a little more difficult to spread, but it has an edge with the taste. Okay, nice. Women like mobile phones. You can talk to them, but if you press the wrong button, you get rejected. See, I tell Sen things like this every now and then, and then she just hurts me, and it, it never really goes well. It really doesn't. Um, how are you today? Never play basketball with girls. You get, yeah, um, girls are savage, right? Everybody says that girls, uh, you, well, you, you hear in the news that, you know, all, all this sort of, um, this sexist stuff where you, women are, are fragile and delicate and so on. No, they're not. Women are savage. Like, they're, they're proper savage. I, I, I would not want to play contact sports against women. Not because I'd be worried about hurting them, but because I'd be worried about them hurting me. That's the bit that I would be concerned about, is the women hurting me. It, it would be, um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd be genuinely scared. Do you ever scare your wife? Now, that is something that Sen has only ever managed to do, like, once or twice in our entire marriage. Entire relationship. We've been together, I think, what now, 16 years? Um, and um, we've been married, I think, what, 10 years? Something like that. But uh, yeah, we've. So we've been married. We, we've been together for quite a while. And how long have we been? We've been married for 10 years, yeah, because our youngest son is 10. There's a, there's a clue there. 10 years. We celebrated 10 years today. Um, Help to review. Um, Shuttlecock is the name of the, is the English name of the, um, badminton ball type thing, Smudo. Um, that one's actually okay. Uh, but yeah, the, um, what was I saying? I think you forgot now. Uh, yeah, we've been, we've been together for like 16 years. So we've been, we've been together for quite a long time. And in 16 years, she's only ever managed to scare me like once or twice. I scare her all the time. Right? I scare her all the time. It is uh, absolutely awesome. It's brilliant. It's the one thing that I can do. I can get her very, very easily. It, it does take time. I also terrify the life out of my children as well. And, and they also like it. I will go and sit, or just sort of crouch, on the stairs, and I will... Uh, no, 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 no. It's not my wedding anniversary today. Um, we've been married 10 years, but it's not 10 years today. It's 10 years last uh, autumn. Um, hang on. 
Oh, I can't, I can't buy manure from here. Wasn't there a place that I can get manure from? Didn't I have, like, a store of the stuff? Maybe I don't. Maybe I got that bit wrong. Um, I will lie in wait on the stairs, right? I will crouch on the stairs, and I will sit there, and I will wait for 10, 15 minutes sometimes without doing anything, without moving, just waiting for Sen to come past. And then when she does, when she makes the fatal move of coming past, then I will leap out and roar. And she proper scream, like proper leaps out of her skin. It's much easier to get my sons because now Sen being ill, she doesn't like move around quite as much. So I, I do have to sort of time things a bit better. Um, but I am still able to get her from time to time. I am still able to genuinely terrify the life out of her from time to time. It's like we've got a viable bit of um, stuff here anyway. We, we, we don't. That's a shame. We have no viable um, manure. I wanted more. We can go and get slurry, though. I think we've got slurry digestate we can get. So we can go and use some of that. Um, but I, I'm very good at making Zen, like, proper leap out of her skin and scream. Proper scream. Really scare her. And I do do it more with my sons. A lot more with my sons. Especially the older one of the two because he's always trying to get me. And so I, I will do it to him, and it looks like it knocks years off his life. It really does. I'm sure that I'm shortening his life, the, the way that I scare him. And sometimes he says he doesn't like it. So well, that's fine. You stop trying to scare me, I'll stop trying to scare you. Just a simple deal like that is how we will do it. And nope. 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 That's okay. Yeah, I, I point that out. Simple deal. If he stops trying to scare me, I will stop trying to scare him. And he doesn't. He keeps going. He goes back for another go. Okay. That's fine by me. Bring it on. Uh, so far, I am the king of scares in this house. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it will stay that way. It really doesn't mean that it will stay that way. But at the moment, I am the, the absolute king of scaring people in my house. And it's good. I'm, I'm happy that I have at least one um, title to my name. Is there, a, like, a texture for... There is now, isn't there? Look. Hang on. I hired help there. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to stop? There is. Look. There is there's actual texture now for slurry. Look at that. Between the two. That's really cool. I didn't actually know that. Not with, like, the injection thing. Wait a minute. Oh. You're... No, you're, you're going the wrong way. Come here, come here. Let me, let, let me, let me, come here, come here. Come over here, look. See this? You came down here, you need to go up this way. Go around there, like that, and head up across the field right there. Right, there you go. You go and do that bit. And now I want to go over here, and we've got some little stress. So we've got a huge great big field of grass now. We could do some stuff up here if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not actually going to do stuff. I just wanted to leave it going. And I'm really impressed with this mower. I didn't actually realize it did this stuff around the edges. That's actually really cool. I like that. And I am loving this map. I'm absolutely loving it. I've seen what the time is. So I'm sort of think, thinking that um, we, we kind of need to... Um, we we, we kind of need to think about... Uh, where I'm going to have to stop at some point. Uh, the best way to scare someone is not... By doing anything but by just the power of suggestion. Power of suggestion. I don't use the power of suggestion to scare someone. I, I lie in wait for absolutely ages. I lie in wait for my children or my wife. And then when they eventually turn up to where I'm lying in wait, I wait until they've gone past me or until they're just about to look me right in the face. When I can see the whites of their eyes, and then I leap forth, roaring at them loud. And that, I can assure you, is how you scare someone. Like, proper, proper scare someone where it knocks years off their life. Um, we watched it. We, <laughs> I, did, I did something once. It was really funny. I, we watched a scary film. Me and Sen watched a scary film together. And I didn't think it was all that scary. It was all right. She got very scared. And then we went down into the kitchen to get some stuff. And I turned the light off behind her. I turned the light off behind her. 
probably shouldn't have done. She was holding a washing basket at the time. And I turned the light off so she was stood in the kitchen in the dark. And she lobbed it straight at me. Fortunately, it missed me. Well, it, it missed me the first time. But it hit the wall and then bits of it broke off. And I got hit by the shrapnel. <laughs> Exploding thing. Um, behave. So, yeah, I, I, I did get taken out by that. But anyway. Um, man was delivering slurry and got sprayed. Poop texture, yep. Yeah. Um, smelly vision would be really cool. I think that would be genuinely awesome. And yes, the Discord, I was... Uh, Jimmy J. Jimmy J, right there, who said, don't forget about the Discord. He has made a new Discord channel for us. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. But it is going to be ready soon. Smudo has... or uh, n n uh, Udo Major. Udo Major. He has been working with Jimmy J, the two lead admins on this project they are, and they have been doing a massive amount of work behind the scenes getting the Discord channel set up. It looks absolutely, genuinely amazing. I am gobsmacked by the amount of work that they've done. I, as I said at the beginning of the stream, I listened in on a bit of what they were talking about last night. They were talking about programming a bot to help run the Discord and keep things as they wanted it. I had no clue for what they were talking about for a lot of it, right? It, it genuinely, it was completely over my head. And and the two of them were there busy chatting about, you know, what commands should be used, and, oh, should we use this command or that command? And, like, seriously, I, 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 I tried to listen. I, I tried to sound intelligent. Um, I, I did manage to sort of listen, and I didn't come off very good with the whole sounding intelligent. That that was um, that was a bit of a failure, that was. Um, but, yeah, it, it's just awesome. And we have got... Uh, well, I've been told that they need some more admins. They want more ad... Not admins, sorry. Not admins. Uh, moderators. You just kind of... It would be helping out. Um, so what I'm after is some volunteers for moderators. If you'd like to volunteer for doing a bit of moderating on the Discord channel, it would also, if you wanted, allow you to do a bit of moderating on here as well. Uh, then please get in touch. You can get in touch with me via my email address, which is in the description of the channel in the about section for the channel uh you can go to my main website um there is a contact page on there you, that will send it straight to my email address or you can go to the frithgar page on facebook and you can send me a message on there if you're interested in becoming a moderator then by all means send me contact info and we can have a chat and we, we can sort of sit you know take it from there I'm not guaranteeing that everybody who applies will get the place um, I'm definitely not saying that and you must be over 18 right it's the only thing is for the discords um, you must be overrated we're, we're gonna we are going to say over 18s only so unfortunately for some of you I know that is going to be a bit disappointing uh, but it's definitely gonna have to be over 18s only for the discord um, and we just bring that one around onto there right how do we work this? There we go. Slurry. Digestate. Ooh. I can pick. Very nice. Take your pick of drinks. Which one would you like? Uh, so, yeah. If, if you'd like to, then please get in touch. Uh, they are also looking for an additional admin or two. They want an admin from the US. But that is a much more involved position. So, it's something that we'll probably talk about later on. Um, unless someone from the US particularly wants to, but there's there's a lot more with it. It's not just um, it's not like a, a simple moderator type thing. It's um, it would be a lot more involved, and it would require uh, some quite serious commitment, I think. Um, if if what Smudo and uh, if, if what uh, Udo Major and Jimmy J have been doing, um, yeah, it's, there's there's uh, quite a lot involved with the administration side of things um so yeah that's this kind of I'm, I'm just putting it out here at the moment um so yeah and thank you very much for everybody who has been doing admin uh, moderator work this evening it's absolutely awesome it is brilliant um wait what's happened what's happened yeah unfortunately for batstar uh he is under 18 um, but I did say this to start with, that 
I didn't actually realise Batstar was under 18 when I first said that he could be a moderator on here. So I said that he can be a moderator on here, uh, but it's basically got to act as an assistant moderator um, so that uh, he, he will never be moderating on his own. All right? If there's... Um, I will find a way round it. Uh, Senleia will come on and moderate if um, there's nobody else as a backup because um, Batstar is under 18. Um, but he is the exception to the rule and that is only because um, I didn't sort of think about it until after I'd already said that he could do it. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to forget the... I'm not going to forget the restaurant, um, Udo. Uh, but and, and anyway, on Batstar, welcome to the stream. I know you said earlier that you had to go, and I haven't actually said welcome back to the stream. So, hi, how are you doing? Um, so, yes, I have not forgotten about Batstar, and I have seen you there. Um, but if you are interested in getting hold of me, you don't have Facebook. You don't have to have Facebook. You can get hold of me through my email address. If you go to the channel... Um, on, on like the main channel page, on the main YouTube channel, if you go to the About section, like, so I think it's like the very end section, uh, you can get my email address on there. Or you can just go to frithgar.com and there's a contact thing on there as well. That will go straight to my email. So you can do it through that. Um, and you don't have to have Facebook to get hold of me at all. And we are also looking for suggestions for Send Layers Restaurant. Send Layers Restaurant on the Felsbrunn on time lapse. I'm looking for suggestions for the restaurant, for the name of the restaurant. We, we want some name suggestions for that one. We haven't come up with a name for it yet. And I've said to Sen, can you please pick a name for your restaurant? It's your restaurant, so you should pick a name for it. And she said, I, uh, what, huh? Oh, um, can't you just, like, get a, a, a list, a, 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 get me a short list and I'll pick one from there. So we've got to get Senna shortlist. So I want some suggestions for some names. If you've got any suggestions for names, that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, yes, there we go. Udo Major has supplied my email addresses. I suppose I could have just told you. Um, but thank you very much, Udo, for writing it down. Frithgarvyinsane at gmail.com. The reason it is... The, why are you going all the way back there? I don't understand. What is he doing? Uh, does anybody know what this worker is doing right now? <laughs> um, i got to admit I'm a little bit confused about what he's doing. Um, right, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. I'm afraid we're going to have to... You, you, you've done well. All right, you, you've, you've been absolutely awesome while you've worked for us. I'm afraid you're no longer suited to this position. It would appear that the, the pressure has gotten too much for you. So we're going, to, we're going to relieve you of your duties. And I wish you well with your new life. I really do. I, I, I wish you well. And I hope that you find um, happiness in your next job. But it's not, it, it can't be here. We're, we're going to have to take on someone else. Right, if I go to there like that and drop that one down. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure what was going on there. What I'm going to do a sec. Oops, saving content. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to turn that one back on. So they start buying again. They're going to do that for a minute. And then I'm going to go up here. Is it possible to rescue this now it's been sat here for a while? I don't think that's going anywhere. Is it? I was just wondering if maybe we could rescue it. Oh. Ha ha! Sometimes when the vehicle's been sat there for a while the game, it kind of judders around a little bit by itself. And it'll occasionally allow you to rescue it. So let's go and have just like a little final drive around the map. See if there's anything that we may have missed. We want to go down to the town. Just see if there's anything down there that we may have missed. Anything that might be uh, outstanding for us to go and look out for. Um, but yeah, we have just about run out of time for the live stream. Live streaming will be happening every Friday evening from here on in. Farming Simulator is going to be every other week. 
And uh, the in-between weeks will be other games. So, uh, obviously, it's farming simulator this week. So, next week will be something different. be another game altogether, which will not be farming simulator. I don't know yet what it is going to be. I haven't got a clue. I've decided I haven't thought about it. I will think about it at some point. I will consider. Uh... Oh, of course! Yes, there's a great big hill here. There's another mountain there, isn't there? In in the original one. So he's, he's done away with it. He's blown up another mountain right there. This guy is, like, seriously hardcore with blowing up his mountains, isn't he? There's a lot of mountains been removed. Let's go over down this way and see if he's changed very much of the town itself. Because that's the one bit we haven't really looked at, is the town itself. Um, so I, I don't really know what I'm going to be playing next week. We will be soon. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Easy. Let's move up round here. And up through there. Watch the live count. Um, live count for what? For my, um, subscriber count. My subscriber count has been around 96,000 for the last two weeks, I think. Maybe three weeks. It's kind of paused for a bit. It started to go up a little bit now. We've got about 96,500. So we've got three and a half thousand to go. Um, but yeah, it's... I think it's still going to... I, I think it could still be a little while uh, before we reach the 100k. But I mean, it could be... It could be within a month we could reach the 100ks. Um, it is possible that within a month we could get to the 100,000 subscriber point. Which could be good. The Sen and Saint... Marmite equals death. I quite like the Sen and Saint. Um, there's a different way that we could word that. I don't know. Sen the Saint? No, she won't like that. i tell you right now, she wouldn't like that. Um, anyway, we'll we're, we're come to that. There's, um, there's some good ones. So what else have we got? Put Marmite on the restaurant menu. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Uh... Right, for moderating, I would just point out that for moderating on the Discord, you're not going to be required... Moderators are not going to be required to be there for set times or anything like that. It's just kind of to assist with running the show. Um, it's not going to be, you have to be here at this time... You have to be online when you're online, and th th none of that. There is there is going to be none of that, okay? There's a few select people who may go along and say, I can be here for this, and you know, I want to be relied upon, and um, you know, maybe there'll be a senior moderator, or a, a few senior uh, aides. There'll be a few senior moderators, like we've got Udo and Jimmy as the senior admins, because they're able to put in so much more time. Um, they're could very well be some senior moderators but generally speaking for moderators on the discord channel um especially as we grow because i'm not planning to go anywhere i'm not planning to go anywhere um so we could very well have a discord channel that could start to get lively one day i'm hoping i'm hoping it'd be lively fairly early on but um yeah it's, um i'm just sort of saying that you're not going to be under any obligation as a moderator to be there at any set time. If you can just look in for five minutes, then you look in for five minutes. But while you're there for that five minutes, if you happen to see somebody abusing the rules and getting round the bot that no one else has taken care of, you would have the power to simply put a mute on them, kick them off the server, that sort of thing just to keep things under control there would be no obligation for you to be there at any point whatsoever we've already got a couple of moderators who are not able to be there 24 7 wait what <laughs> card wolf another 20 dollars that's that is absolutely awesome that is genuinely amazing the discord server is not live yet we're still setting it up so we're looking for the um, we're just looking for moderators at the moment and getting everything all set up. Jimmy J and Udo Major have done fantastic, amazing work. These two guys 
have gone above and beyond anything I ever thought that anybody would ever volunteer to do for my channel. It is absolutely incredible what these two guys have done, right? They are genuinely, genuinely amazing with all the work they've done. And I am gobsmacked at how much work that these two have put in. It, it, it's absolutely incredible. Um, uh, so if they're, they're, if this is going to be their show, right? I'm not claiming credit for this in any way. All I am is just a pretty face that comes along and smiles at the camera every now and then. They are the ones running this show. Um, so they've asked me to ask for moderators. I'm asking for moderators because it's their show. And um, so we just make sure everybody understands that you can volunteer to be a moderator and you can help to be a moderator. Um, not everybody that says they want to be a moderator will get the position. I will will sort of have a look at each person and uh, judge each individual one on its merits and then you'll get a, a yes or a um, sorry not this time. And that's, that's kind of how it's going to work. Um, the Oh, hang on, just sort of looking in here. What have we got here? Oh, this is coming in. This is the back entrance to our... What, what was the sign up there? And have a look at that in a minute. Um, so, moderators, you can... You won't have this obligation to turn up. So, if you don't think the Fenton's Forest Farm... Ah. Okay, we've actually got a formal entrance to our farm. So, if you... I know that there is some people who you know, might consider doing this, but they don't, you know, they don't think that they could be relied upon. You don't need to be, right? If you literally, you, if you look in for five minutes once in a week, but in that five minutes you happen to see someone who is abusing rules and you can mute them or send a message to an admin and say, this person was doing this, I've issued them with a temporary ban, I'd leave it in your hand or just kick them off the server or mute, or however it works. Um, then that's moderate that's that's it that's brilliant that's wonderful and then and then you, you you be on your merry and you carry on with what you were doing you don't have to stay you don't have to carry on with things right that will be dealt with by other people um we just want some people who are happy to sort of come along and, and do a little bit every now and then um but hang on a minute hang on hang on we're gonna go into oh i can't do it from here can i I can't go here and do it, but I can. What I can do is I can go there, and I can go over to here. Not animal supplies. I can go over to there, and I can go to that one. Visit. <laughs> Just like that. And I can come down here. Um, and I go all the way around here. And then I can go to here, like this. And, right, um, I don't know if we got a Pinto. I'll move one of them over. And a Chestnut. And a seal brown. Right. Confirm. There we go. Now I'm going to have a look in here. I know it's the very end of the stream, so we, we've literally got a couple of minutes left. Uh, but I just wanted to do this because... Um, there. Rename. That one right there. Khan. Wolf. Again. Because of your incredible generosity, that was absolutely fantastic. That was amazing. Rename. This one right here is going to be new... P9, because of your repeated incredible generosity. That is absolutely amazing. And then this one right here, we're going to rename this one, hang on, Jimmy J, for all of the stunning work that he has done building that Discord. And then Hot Pink over here is now going to be renamed to uh, Udo Major. Because of all the incredible work that he has also put in as uh, the second senior admin on the server alongside Jimmy J. He has thrown himself into this absolutely brilliantly. It is just amazing. I'm genuinely blown away by the amount of work that these two have put in. I really am. I cannot stress that enough. They have been absolutely amazing. Um, but anyway, we're going to have to wrap all this up. We are definitely going to wrap all of this up because I have been rabbiting on about all kinds of nonsense for two hours. Um, and yeah, if you want to be a mod, then just get in touch. Email me at frithgartheinsane at gmail.com. Frithgartheinsane is actually my World of Warcraft 
title. I got the insane title on Warcraft. That's where the insane bit comes from. It's all one word, frithgartheinsane at gmail.com. Uh, email me on there to let me know if you want, if you're interested in it, and I will um, pass on your details to Jimmy J and Udo Major, and they can sort of have a look through people and decide who and what they want. And when the server goes live, I will be sure to let absolutely everybody know. Don't you worry about that. I'm very excited about this. It's going to be very cool. Um, but I'm not going to be announcing anything until I've been given express permission by Jimmy and Udo. Because, like I said, it's their show. But anyway, I really do have to go now. My voice is starting to pack up more and more. And I'm going to need to go and rest it. And I've still got tomorrow's videos to finish editing. Uh, or you're not going to have anything to watch tomorrow. And then you'll be very disappointed with me. And I, I can't be having that. So... I'm really glad you all stopped by. Thank you very much. And thank you again very much to Khan Wolf, Sichi, uh, Mystery Islands Music, and Newpy9 for your wonderful donations. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you very much to all the moderators who've been helping out this evening and keeping the chat neat and clean and tidy. It has been absolutely wonderful. And thank you to all of you guys, the viewers who have popped in to see me and have had a little chat. Next week will be a different game. I don't know what it will be yet. I'll make an announcement somewhere, somehow, some way, so that you can all find out what game we're going to be playing. Um, you can make suggestions through the usual comments and everything else. But um, that's about all I've got time for. So if you've enjoyed the stream, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.